Hi guys and welcome to the video on graphing asymptotes. So if you have not already watched the video about uh, analyzing a the general form of a rational equation, uh, you should go back and watch that uh, just in case you, because um, we're going to be skipping a little bit of the background here. Okay, so remember when we have an equation that's y equals a over x minus h plus k, like this one here, where a, h, and k are all um, just numbers, they're constants, uh, then our asymptotes are x equals h, so in this case we've got x equals 1, and y equals k, so y equals 2 for this one. So when you have lines like this, where it's just x equals a number and y equals a number, those are horizontal and vertical lines. So x equals 1 is a vertical line at 1, all right? So if we go over to 1 on our x-axis, it's a vertical line. And usually when we draw, um, when we draw our asymptotes in, we're going to draw a dotted line. So we would draw the dotted line there, all right, all the way up and down. And then we um, would do the same thing for our y equals. So y equals 2 is not a vertical line, but a horizontal line at y equals 2. So you start in the middle, go up 2, and so y equals 2 is this line right here. All right, this line right here gives you that. So these would be the asymptotes for this graph. And we'll talk more about how you actually graph this whole thing in the next video. All right, but right now just making sure that we're clear about graphing the asymptotes. So what, I mean, what the asymptotes actually are is it means that our graph is going to be inside these areas. Our graph is never going to cross the asymptotes like that. And again, you'll see that more in the next video about actually graphing rational uh, equations. Okay, so let's look at, at the next example here. So here, if you remember, when you have um, x plus a number here, that means that h is negative. Okay, so our, uh, our asymptotes here are actually x equals negative 4, and again, with that negative 7 there, that's going to mean y equals negative 7. Okay, so we're going to graph these asymptotes the same way. So x equals a number is a vertical line at that number. So on the x-axis, we go to the left 4 and draw a vertical line. So remember, vertical is just straight up and down. So a vertical line, we draw it dotted so that we can tell the difference between our asymptotes and our actual graph once we do that. All right, and then y equals negative 7. That's actually all the way down here at the bottom of the graph. So it's a horizontal line down here at the bottom of the graph with a negative 7. So our asymptotes are just horizontal. They're always going to be horizontal and vertical lines. Um, that's not true for some equations, but for these, they're always going to be horizontal and vertical lines where you have x equals h, y equals k, and then it's just a horizontal line at x equals the number that h is, and a, um, sorry, a vertical line at x equals the number that h is, and a horizontal line at y equals the number that k is. And that's it.